Bruin or Levi? If you had to choose one, who would it be? Well, I'm stoned away here, and today we're going to be sucking off Levi. By that, I mean we're going to be showing off three Levi figures that I bought and whether or not they were worth it. The first figure I'll be showing off today is the Art FXJ Levi Fortified Version figure. I paid $149.99, where I think this retails for about $109.99 when it first came out. Unfortunately, the price for this product is all over the place along with its release date. There's just not that much information on this product. And uh, there's been a lot of re-releases for this, so they've been printing this out a decent amount. On eBay, you can get this for a starting price of about $135. But be warned, there are a bunch of listings for around 60 and under. Those are fakes. Those are just from China, completely fakes. Uh, you usually won't get the box if you do buy one of those, or you'll get this really shitty, like shittily painted box. It's kind of hard to tell whether or not it's a fake. Now, usually if the price is too good to be true, it's too good to be true. And that should kind of help your decision making on whether or not it is a fake or if it's real. The fake version actually looks very similar to this. So if you're on a budget and you don't want to spend 150, you could buy this for 30 bucks and get a pretty close to accurate version of this figure. If you haven't noticed already, this is such a badass figure. The pose goes hard, the detail goes hard, I'm fucking hard talking about it. It's such a nice product, and the fucking, look at this. This is golden fucking detail, literally gold. Like, how nice can a fucking box be? Out of all three of the figures that I'll be showing today, this by far has the nicest box, and it really complements the figure very well. I'm literally shaking just touching this fucking thing. If you turn it, we got the Colossal Titan and the Armored Titan, gold fucking plated, of course. Keep turning it, you have Levi and what the figure would look like out of the box. It's a gorgeous just image of what the product looks like. And God, I would suck Levi off. I would suck the gold off of Aaron Yeager's tits. On this box I will lick the gold I don't care this is such a nice fucking box you got the monkey you got Aaron you got Levi such a gorgeous fucking figure would highly recommend this is probably you know just one of the most luxurious Levi figures you could buy and you know it's kind of cheap compared to most other you know, premium Levi figures. 150 is not that bad of a price considering, you know, when it released, it was 119. So, you know, it's, it hasn't really gone up too much in price, but it is such a nice figure would highly recommend. And it's just, it's a perfect display piece. You, you know, you have this plasticky window here that you don't even need to open it. It shows off the figure. You could keep this sealed, put it on your shelf you don't even need to open it. If you want to open it, fuck it. Open it. You know, you put it out. Just keep the box in good condition because this is one nice fucking box. If you throw it out, you're an animal. I don't know what to tell you, but such a nice figure. And when I first bought this, you know, I had a rip go across the fucking plastic because that's how it came. You know, I paid, I think, 120 130 for it. And I just immediately sent it back because I knew I had to have this sealed. I did not want any imperfections. I needed it perfect. So I ended up spending 20 bucks more to get a near perfect version. And I am so glad I did. This is just such a gorgeous figure, gorgeous box. You know, would ugh, just everything about this is perfect. My mouth is overflowing with cum. The second figure I have today is probably the worst out of all three. It is the Levi Final Season Benepresto figure. I have really no idea what it looks like because I don't plan on opening it, but I'm sure it's true to whatever the box has it looking like, you know, and I'm not going to waste too much time on it, but I just have to say this box is ugly as fuck. It is not a nice looking box, not really a great display piece. It's just Levi standing in the fucking ashes of the rumbling, probably stepping on a bunch of dead children, who knows. But uh, it's not really that 
nice of a figure, but you know, for the money I got this, you know, I paid $18.89 on Crunchyroll. So what should I have expected? You know, if you're looking for a cheap figure, you know, that's not going to break the bank. This is the one for you. It's just, you know, it's, it's not a amazing figure. I imagine there's a little plastic piece that it'll stand on. Almost kind of looks like an action figure to be honest, but I'm pretty sure this doesn't move and it stays still. So it's like a statuesque type, but, uh, yeah, not, not a nice figure. I'm not proud to own this. The third and final figure I have today is the Art FXJ Levi 1A scale figure. I believe this to be the alt art version of the uh, Art FX Levi Fortify version, or maybe that is the alt art version to this. Not too sure, but anyways, uh, this I will say is 10 times nicer. It's the renewal version, which the original version, the box kind of looked eh. But, you know, this is just by far the coolest, sexiest, and best looking figure out of the three. And I paid $109.99 for this. eBay starting price is usually around $130 as of right now. So I got this for a pretty good price and I'm happy to have it. This is just such a gorgeous figure. Looking at the box, you know, you have Levi striking a pose. You have what? you know, the figure's actually going to look like. And this is a big fucking box. This is the biggest out of all three. And uh, it's, whew, it is huge. Again, it has the nice windowing plastic, so you don't even need to open this. You can just display it, which makes it really nice. I'll try to show a little bit closer up of what it looks like. Just very well detailed and very nicely packaged. Like this will not break inside. Unfortunately, it is a bit hard to really look at, but it is such a nice figure. And again, you know, on the back, this is what it's looking like. He's going to be fucking stretching his legs across a fucking log and he's going to kill anything in its sight. Oh my God, a plane's coming. I'm going to die. Now, I've heard that there were fakes of this product, but I haven't really seen any. And most of the eBay listings look legit because they are so highly priced that I really doubt that they're going to be fakes. But uh, besides that, this is easily a premium figure product. And it comes with three different versions. So this one's the Levi. They also have one with Aaron and then one with Mikasa. I am without a doubt going to have all three, and then I'll probably make a video showing off all three. Who knows? But besides figure number two, aka the middle child, I can see these going up in price dramatically over time. Attack on Titan is now coming to an end with its final season, and it's already considered one of the best animes yeah, like of all time, at least in the top 10, top 20. So with that being said... You know, these figures, you're going to have people that are going to, you know, be done with the anime and want to buy figures. You're going to have people, you know, over time see the anime that haven't and they're going to want to buy the figures. So I imagine that these will definitely shoot up in price. Not you, but these two babies, you know, they're just luxury products, great figures. They look amazing. The boxes are so nice, so well displayable. Just such a nice product, and I really think that that's what's going to shoot up in price. A lot of people like Levi. Levi is such a great character and one of my favorites, you know, in the show. So, you know, a fan favorite after a show that's ending, you know, these are going to be desirable. These are going to be, you know, what everybody wants. So, besides you, of course. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I plan on doing a lot more figure opening showings, I guess. This wasn't really an opening. It was more of a showing, but I plan on doing both. I have a lot of Konosuba figures I still got to do. I got a lot of JoJo I'm just like refusing to do for some stupid ass reason. I got a lot more Attack on Titan stuff, a lot of Pop-Up Parade and other figure types i guess i'm gonna try to get all three of the art fx eight scale figures to have all three of the jumping dudes you know slicing shit i don't know but i got a lot more shit i gotta do and you know i'm gonna i got a lot more products coming in i got pokemon cards coming in that i'm gonna do so i, I thankfully have a good amount of stuff i can still make Unfortunately, we're a bit dry, but Scarlet and Violet's coming out. But anyways, I got to go top off, so I'll see you at your mom's house. Peace.
that I'll never be a slave. No way, a chair in the corner is my place. I stay, I shake, and I think about the powers it play, the powers it play. And the kids of the doctor were doomed from the start. The child in the basement, face of the pavement. Oh, what a statement. Love is embracement. Love is a constant. Love is the basis. He cannot be, she cannot be, they cannot be changed. We keep on praying goodbye. Oh, the misery. My enemy